Dear Ivory, today I want to talk about a personal shift that I've been making in my life. And pretty much I've decided that in 2023, it's time for me to wave goodbye to the entrepreneur that's in me. And going into 2024, I really want to step away from entrepreneurship and just be a small business owner and really just step into my CEO shoes for 2024. So just reflecting on the end of 2023 and the past decade of my life where I've been an entrepreneur, I started out in 2013 with a hair company, having a physical product-based business. And then in 2014, I started career coaching and then I transitioned over to business coaching. And I think back to why I started all of these businesses and these entrepreneur ventures in the first place. And it was really because I wanted the freedom that I heard everyone talking about, right? The financial freedom to spend my time in my life how I wanted to, but also time freedom so that I could travel more. I have always had a love for travel. It's something that I love to do for fun and just that I feel like I need on a soul level to explore the world and different societies and cultures to gain a better understanding of how society works. But along that journey, it also helps me to feed my own soul, right? And so when I think about entrepreneurship and what it means to be an entrepreneur, an entrepreneur to me is someone who is constantly hustling, someone who is constantly looking to create new opportunities, explore new opportunities, and taking risks, sometimes hits and failures and stumbles along that journey. And that's what I've done over the past decade of my life. And going into 2024, I don't want to be the entrepreneur that's hustling and taking risks all the time and always exploring new opportunities and creating new things. In 2024, I want to be settled. I want to be just a small business owner that has a core focus and a core set of services and products that I provide to the market where that's not necessarily to say that I won't create new things, but I want to do things at a slower pace that's more in alignment with just being a small business owner than feeling like there's a need or desire to constantly create as an entrepreneur. So when I look over the last decade of my life, I've done everything, right? I've been able to work with some of the most amazing clients, help them to create their own businesses and products and services, I've spoken on so many stages at conferences and events, um, and I've done a lot, and I'm very proud of everything that I've done, but I feel like I'm at a point in my life where it's time to hit the brakes, right? I want to take some time to really reflect and understand my own human design and how I can align my business with who I am at my core, right? So literally for the past month or so, maybe a little over a month, I've really been digging deep into astrology and understanding my zodiac sign. Like I am a Aries sun, which is what when people talk about astrology, most people focus on, okay, I'm an Aries or a Sag or whatever based on their sun sign, but no one really dives deeper into the other signs that you have or the other things that really make up your personality and who you are at your core and how you react and respond to things within the environment. So 
I dug deeper to really understand that not only am I an Aries sun sign, but I have a Sagittarius moon, which really explains a lot. And then also I am a Cancer rising. And so I really just spent a lot of time researching well, like, what does it mean to be a Sagittarius moon? Like, how does that work with it being an Aries sun? Or like, what does it mean to be a Cancer rising? How's, how does that impact my emotions? And what does that have to do with me being a Sagittarius moon or Aries sun? And even I started looking into numerology and my life path number is a one, right? And what does that mean? So I'm someone who's supposed to be a trailblazer, right? And then also just looking at my human design, which I am a generator with a four, six profile. And so just discovering this information about myself and who I am at my core, it really has brought me to this place of wanting to just take a step back and redesign my life from a place that's going to be in, in alignment with my human design and what I know about my personality and what I'm here to do while I'm on earth and like what I feel like my destiny is. And that's also helped me to kind of make this shift from being an entrepreneur and having an entrepreneur mindset and really kind of transforming that into more of a CEO mindset. So when I say that I'm making a shift to a CEO mindset, it's not just a title change for me, right? It's about a mindset makeover. And as a CEO, I want to make sure that I'm making more strategic moves and making decisions that really align with my personal vision for not only my business, but for my life in general and making sure that I'm steering that ship from a place of purpose and nothing else and that I'm being more laser focused in how I actually approach life as well as business. So as we move into 2024, what's really on the horizon for me, I'm not totally sure, but I do know that as I embody more and more of a CEO mindset, I want to make sure that I'm scaling smartly and not just scaling for the sake of scaling. And I want to be more open and honest and transparent sharing my journey the wins, the challenges, and everything that comes with that as I make this shift in my life and business. And I feel like that's something that's in alignment with who I am as someone who has a human design, as a generator, and a life path number of one, right? I feel like that's what I'm meant to do. It's what I'm called to do. And it's all about personal growth, fulfillment, and making space for the unexpected and just sharing that journey with the world. And I just look forward to whatever it is that this journey is going to bring. I'm excited either way.